to fresh off the back of filming the Cane Blur video, we're now moving on to Clement Select Barrel. Now, it's important to note, uh, this one, uh, I'll give you a close-up, this one hasn't got the AOC. And you'll notice that it doesn't say Martinique on there. It doesn't say um, uh, uh, agriculture, the AOC kind of words on there. What you'll kind of see from that is, I can't even see what it says. What does it say? Rum Agricole de Antilles de Francais. So basically, it's what it's saying is it's French rum agricole but it's not Martinique, even though it's made on Martinique, and it's not the A, hasn't got the AOC on there. So, okay, so we've got our first example of a non-AOC rum from Martinique, but it's still an agricole. That's the point I'm gonna make. Now, uh, for all the cane heads out there, yes, we are gonna be moving on to other brands, don't worry. But I thought, as I said in the very first video, I thought, you know what, this is kind of like the entry point. Uh, these are, as, especially in the UK, these are the rums that are kind of easy to get. Most people would kind of look at if they were kind of getting into agricole rum. So, you know, it, it's just the easy start point. I want to start at the bare basics and then move up. That's kind of my whole angle from there. So don't panic. Don't get on your keyboard worries and say, oh, there's much better rums than this. I know I would appreciate that. However, that one is gonna take some toppling. Now this one is an intriguing one for me. Well, I'll kind of give you the nuts and bolts about it in a minute, but I just wanna kind of break you in for probably what I'm gonna say. I've had this rum before. It's been in my collection ever present since I niched into rum. So we are two, nearly three years in. Yeah, three, wow, nearly, nearly three years in. Now, to niche into rum, no, that can't be. Two years in, nearly two years into rum. I've lost track of time. Anyway, it's been ever present. I've not really had it neat, but I've been mixing with this uh, quite a lot. So the whole premise is on what I'm about to say. Would I absolutely, hand on heart, pick this as an agricole rum if you gave me this in a lineup with molasses rums? I don't think I would. I don't think there's enough on it to really make it that much of a distinguishment between normal molasses rums. Now that, that will sound bonkers because I still sort of get that grassy herbaceousness off it, but I don't get that punch of alcohol off it, especially what I got off that cane blur. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of what this is and then don't forget, I'm gonna answer the question, you know, uh, do I think it's value for money? Would I restock it? Have I got anything behind the bar already that's comparables? But what is it? As I say, Clement Select Barrel, uh, UK price £37. Again, I haven't done the dollars, sorry. But I roughly think, that, uh, where are we? F uh, 40, 45 to 46 US dollars, 44 to 45 euros again. So, you know, £37 is quite expensive, but I will kind of talk through that as the video goes on. So again, Martinique, 40% ABV is column still. It's a two-year-old rum. Okay, so it has been a sort of aging in oak for two years old. But I say, important to note, it hasn't got the AOC, so it doesn't meet all the criteria uh, to kind of make it an AOC rum. Now, I don't know where it falls down. Some people might be able to jump in the comments and tell it's exactly why it's not an AOC rum. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it at that and then move on to what it smells like. Now, what I kind of gave you a minute ago is kind of lulling you into a false sense of security because you're going to say, you're, you're sitting there thinking, Oh, he doesn't like that. That's not a restock. I actually do really like this. This is actually my second bottle of this. So I have already restocked it. Now on the nose, like the big nostrils, the big sort of senses that you get is woody, barrel aged, vanilla. You, there's no arguing with that. Everyone is going to get that. You're going, to send, you're going to pick up the barrel aging. You are going to pick up the vanilla. There's just no argument with that. But if you bear with it, what you do then get is that sort of, apple green grassy, sort of even a little bit of citrusy edge going on there. And there is there is a little bit of fruit in there as well, but it's nothing in comparison to what I've tasted so far in this little mini journey. It is it is a lovely rum. I, I make no bones about that. Would I, on the smell, pick it out as molasses, uh, pick it out as cane over molasses? You would have to bear with it. I think you really would bear with it. Don't, and this is the thing. There isn't, this is, I've got nothing behind the bar that smells like this. I really don't. 
But I naturally assume, and this is kind of where I, what I'm trying to explain, I naturally it kind of get, like, relate those smells, those aromas, uh, to agricole more than I do this. I've even now got sort of like a honey vibe going on. And then on the taste, I think I would, at this stage of my journey, pick that as a cane juice rum. But it's not obvious. It's just not got those inherent molasses traits that I've kind of been used to. So I get it, it's a very different rum and it would get my little brain ticking of thinking, oh, hang on a minute, is this cane juice? But let's make no bones about it. It's barrel aging up front. It's got a, sp a spicy, peppery, kind of, almost sort of cinnamony kind of vibe to it. Vanilla, it's got plenty of vanilla going on. But then very much on the back is when, and it is very much dialed down, but it's there, you get that green apple, uh, sour apple sweets. That's kind of what I relate that to, like apple sours. That's what that's the word I'm looking for. Kind of get those apple sours. You do get a little bit of tropical fruit, but in a very, very different way to what you would go off uh, Barbados or a Jamaican rum. I want to say juicier. You get juicier notes of tropical fruit. If that if that makes any sense at all. But this is soft. It is approachable. It is, and we can talk about this now. It is a cracking mixing rum. I've had this with rum and coke, rum and ginger beer, rum and ginger ale, rum and apple, and it works. It's a fantastic, fantastic mixing rum. It really is for a okay, for your kind of equivalents. Your you know your Appleton eight year olds, your Dolly's five, your plum, your Barbados uh, plantation five year old. Well, else? Your plantation ODs, your chairman's reserves, your legacy, and your original. You know. It very much does play in that field, but with a very different vibe. It is a cracking mixing rum. For me, it's actually a really decent sipping rum as well. But I dare say cane heads have got, actually at that price, maybe better. Um, but, you know, even like five, six, seven, eight quid more, actually probably more options than that. I don't think this would be many cane heads sipping rum, if you like. I think it's going to be more of a mixing rum. But even at that price, I at the price point, you'd probably put it more as a sipping rum, but actually I think it should and does play in the mixing rum categories. So let's dive into those questions. You know, would I restock it? Is it value for money? Have I got anything behind the bar already that's comparable? In that sense, um, is it comparable to the ombre? Um, it's, a, it, it's a step up from the ombre. It's undoubtedly a step up from the ombre even though that's like a proper agricole uh, Martinique AOC, that isn't, it is a step up in flavor, in taste, you know, it's more refined. You've got more, you've got more punchier notes coming through to it. You know, it's more enjoyable experience than sipping that neat. It's the price that gets me. What was it, 30, 37 pounds, so what, 40, 45, 46, 47 US dollars, 44, 45 euros. It's that price that gets me. At 37 pounds, I can't, hand on heart, sort of turn around and say, I'm, I'm looking at Appleton 8, I'm looking at Chairman's Legacy, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Plantation Bar, but I, it, hand on heart, I can't say that is better anywhere even remotely close to that. I, I would still go back to, I would go to Barbados five-year-old, plantation five-year-old, uh, over that every day of the week uh, and for cheaper. I think there's more character in that. And I actually don't know where I'm going with this because it's a lovely rum. Oh, I'm getting pear notes now. The finish, I'm getting like pear off that. It is a lovely rum. I now this is the interesting thing. I in, I am restocked it earlier on because I really liked it. But now doing it is a comparison in side by side and then working up to some of these other rums and being blown away by that neat. If I'm being brutally honest, I want to drink that neat over that. But the one thing I forgot to do was turn it into a tea ponche. And I have to say, because it's what I used in the tea ponche video. That makes a delightful tea ponche. Just a drizzle of, of used brown demerara sugar in there. And that little kind of cheek of lime. It does really elevate that rum. 
and it's a gorgeous run for that. It really is. There is absolutely nothing wrong. I think the big downfall for me, in summing up, is the price. It's a lovely run, but for me, it's probably more £25. What's that? $31, $32. I think it's more at that price point. I don't think, and it's purely because Agricole is not a bigger deal here in the UK. I purely think it's a little bit too expensive for what it is. Price side by side, there is absolutely no comparison. That for me, at roughly the same price, all flipping day long over that. All flipping day long. But do I enjoy it? Yeah, I do.